Let's begin this noon with that heartbreaking goodbye to one of Yonkers finest, a police detective sergeant killed in the line of duty. Right now, the funeral is underway for 56-year-old Frank Waldino. First responders and members of the community are Dr. inside Christ and out of the church to, to pay their respects. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from Yonkers with more. John. Chris and Mary, as you just mentioned, that funeral going on right now as we speak inside the church right here behind me. Uh, but I had the program for today here in my hands, and I want to read everyone a sentence here from the program that I feel like really describes this man perfectly. Frank lived his life committed to a career, city, and family he loved and received astounding love in return. And let me tell you, that love was definitely felt and seen here today. Dozens of police officers on motorcycles made up the motorcade that escorted the flag draped casket of Yonkers Police Sergeant Frank Goldino to his funeral. It seems if you ask anyone who knew him, the devotion he had for the community he served was felt all over. Frank would do anything for his friends, family, the community, society. And today, those he touched during his 53 years of living wanted to make sure in death he still knew how much he meant to them showing up in droves for his funeral. He was a man that should be looked up to and honored. Frank Waldino can only be described as one of the warmest, um, I'll call him joyful, uh, always smiling. And for the thousands of first responders present, including the NYPD and FDNY, it's a tragedy that hit close to home. We, we took it hard. Sergeant Andre Sanchez is with the town of Ramapo Police Department. He and many other out-of-town officers felt it was important to show up today. Sometimes we take life for granted, and it's important to, to realize how short life can be. The police sergeant died last week when detectives say a teenager driving a BMW M5 on the Springbrook Parkway overpass smashed into his police car at a high rate of speed. He is survived by his mother, three brothers, his wife of 28 years, and their two children. This police community say they will band together to make sure his family knows they have support. Even though Yonkers is a big job, it's still, you know, we're, we're all uh, brothers and sisters and, and uh, we're they're always with one another. Now I'm told that Yonkers police has not had a line of duty death since 1982 and Sergeant Galdino, uh, Galdino rather, was just nine months away from retiring and he will be posthumously promoted today uh, to detective sergeant. And we're also told that his wife and their daughter, they will be concluding today's funeral services with a eulogy that they will be doing together. Of course, we'll have that for everyone later on today. But for now, we are live this afternoon from Yonkers. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you. And another live picture as the service continues inside Sacred Heart Church. We are streaming the funeral in its entirety right now on CBS News, New York.